You want into Diamond City, right? Uh, what? Who are you? Shh. Play along. What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. No need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. This place, Diamond City, what is it? Well, the green jewel. She's a sight. Everyone who's anyone in the Commonwealth is from here, settled here, got kicked out of here. A big wall, some power, working plumbing, schools, and some security goons are what make Diamond City the big monster it is. <laughs> oh, love it or hate it. You'll see for yourself soon enough. Let's go. Piper, who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped for parts. Ooh, that a statement, Mr. McDonough? Tyrant mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. What newspaper are you talking about? Mine. Public occurrences. And we're the hard look at the truth. So are you with us or not? Always believed in freedom of the press. Rightly so. A true medium for the people. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, good sir. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? What are you two arguing about, anyway? What do you think? Print lies and everybody's happy, but if you print the truth... <laughs> <laughs> no. Was there anything particular you came to our city for? What is this place, anyway? Why, this is the safest place in all the Commonwealth, with the strongest community and the highest standards of living available. We have stores, doctors, schools, power, running water, and the wall as our sacred protector. You'll learn more about the wall soon, I'm sure. But I was talking about you. Come on now, what brought you all the way out here? Just looking for something? Oh, uh, what is it you're looking for? Who would I talk to about finding a missing person? Well, whatever you do, don't bother going to Diamond City Security for help. Uh, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. Well, sure. And a mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Well, uh, there is uh, one private citizen, Nick Valentine, a detective of sorts who specializes in tracking people down, usually for debts or whatnot. Now, I have to get going. I'm sorry Diamond City Security doesn't have time to help, but I'm sure Mr. Valentine charges a reasonable fee. <sighs> this is ridiculous. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security always shrivels away when talk of missing persons? I've had enough up? of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. <laughs> I'm impressed. Not everyone can claw information out of McDonough's tight-fisted hands. Hmm. Why don't you stop by my office after you see Valentine? I think I just found my next story.
Head on hey, inside. Piper. We'll talk more once I get settled in. Officer? Got a question? You should talk to Sullivan. Hey. I'm all in. Hey, Codsworth. Need something? Your thoughts? I miss the regular sized bugs. If those I could handle. Your thoughts? I live to serve, sir. That was all I had. All right, then. So, you're that traitor Piper was talking about. Some tells me she's pulled the wool over my eyes again. Am I right? Piper's done this before? All the time. Thing is, sometimes she's bluffing, and sometimes there really is a group of 50 raiders just over the hill screaming for blood. So I usually just let her in. Not this time, though. Mayor's on the warpath. Anyway, welcome to Diamond City and all that. I gotta get back to work. You're Sullivan, right? Can't talk. All this chatting is gonna tarnish my tough cop persona. Just through the gate and up the stairs. So, this is the famous Diamond City. I suppose I hope to find more of a gem than a dusty home base. Civilization in the rough, if you will. You're back. Mayor McDonough? Far too busy to talk right now. I'm the mayor, after all. Hey, kiddo. How are the paper sales? Well, the presses are getting overloaded. That motor is going to go soon if we don't replace it. Uh, you've been saying that for weeks and the old girl still keeps cranking. Stop worrying so much. I gotta head into the office. You start whistling if you see any angry politicians coming our way. Why? Is something wrong? Piper? <sighs> Who's really in control of Diamond City? Read the public. Free paper to newcomers. If the Institute grabs you in the night, at least we warned you. The Institute? You ain't heard of the Institute, mister? They snatch people up in the night, and no one hears from them again. It's all in the paper. Better read up before they grab you, too. Who's gone missing? Drifters, residents, stadium seat snobs. Seems every year or so, someone's gone. And we all know why. So you better be careful, newcomer. The Institute is out there, and they'll grab you, too. Like I said, it's all in the paper. I believe you. Thanks. You are a real lost lamb in the wolf's den, mister. Nat. You can't stop the press. Ain't got nothing better to do? Read the paper, mister. Trust me. Selling papers is busy work, mister. You won't believe what's in the next issue, just as you wait. Hey, Nat. Public is here. Pull the wool out from under your eyes. Watch your back. The Institute could be right behind you. Selling papers is busy work, mister. Hey, Nat. Watch your back. The Institute could be right behind you. is one of those things. It's that secretary of his, her and her perfect hair. Mm-hmm. The mayor's 